Fam Review. Hey guys, World Eater here. Today we're gonna be going over a special familiar, and the only reason why I'm making this video right now is because she's actually able to be farmed expedition. Right now we have the Battle Bards event going on, and if you hit play here and check out on the left side, you'll see this purple portal. It's called Burning Fam. And now it doesn't matter what tier you are, doesn't matter what difficulty you use, just know that you do have to do Burning Fam Portal. If you check out this loot box, scroll down to the bottom to the epic side, you will see here that there is a Blinka Schematic, epic schematic. Pretty awesome. It's only an epic, pretty easy to get. The only other thing you're gonna need here besides Blinka is some of the Ja 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 Jackpot materials. Let me go ahead and show you her real quick. Now, we're gonna go ahead and actually start off with her abilities, and then I'll go ahead and tell you guys what I recommend you use on her and what content you use her for. So to start off, she just has an attack closest, which is pretty basic. A lot of familiars come with this ability. Uh, nothing special, but it is her only damaging ability. Let's go ahead and go on to her second ability, which is Unbreaker. This is her main ability, in my opinion. Um, it pretty much full shields your whole team, and it's only one SP. She will top you off all the time. Um, most of the time, she's going to be able to get all those shields off before the enemy really, really gets to drop your, your health too, too low. So you're not really going to be using any of these other abilities too often. But this one's a target heal, which is pretty nice if one guy keeps getting nuked out. Um, it's not too bad to use, but you're almost always going to want to use the spread shield. I don't know if you notice the numbers here. 24,000 to 29,000. Now, obviously that scales, right? But if you compare it to the other abilities below, it's just way more. It's just insane how much she can actually shield you compared to heal. So... That is why I recommend you use her as a shielder, not a healer. But here as her third ability, um, I would say you'd probably want to just use this on a bait that keeps getting nuked out. Like if there's a lot of attack weakest and it has, um, and you just can't keep them healthy enough. Maybe they're getting nuked too much. That'd be the only time I would recommend using that. Um, I would just treat her as if she only has three abilities being the one, the two and the four. Now the four again is only useful if you really need heals. Um, I highly recommend you just use your one, two, one, two, and the only time you use your one is when you can't use your two. But that's gonna be it for her abilities. Uh, one more thing actually is, I don't know if you noticed, she does have a lot more speed than anything else. So you don't really have to add any speed pumps, which is what I'm getting at here. Um, speed is not too bad on her. It's probably the second best thing to put on her in my opinion. But I think the only real thing you should actually be putting on her pump wise is in power. Now you don't need mythic and power pumps like I have here. Epics will do, legendaries are ideal, but obviously like mythics, the best case scenario. Um, I only have these on because I keep rolling empower enchants or empower um, empower chance um, pumps. So I just figured I have extras. I don't want to scrap them because they're good. Put them to her. So um, that's why she has mythic. But anyways, um, for the pumps and power, for the chip, I highly recommend heal power. Heal power is almost good on every 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 healer and the reason why you want heal power versus any other healing type chip is because if i'm not mistaken and correct me if i'm wrong in the comments please heal power works towards shielding as well which is amazing so regardless even if you don't intend to use your heals too much when you do you'll have that 15 percent boost along with the empower which is what makes this chip so good because it makes it as if her heals are almost as good as her shields. We'll go ahead and go on to the brain. I like a per turn brain. I do not at all recommend using when you hit brain and I definitely don't recommend a when you get hit brain. You're gonna want a per turn brain because she has a decent amount of speed and she only has one damaging ability which you don't even want to use unless you're forced to. I personally like an offensive brain. This one is a 55% chance to attack enemy team for so-and-so per turn. The reason why I like an offensive brain is because she's already doing so much heals the whole time. You don't really need a defensive brain on her. Is it bad to put it on her? No, it's probably good. I mean, if you need that much heals, but in my opinion, having another damage dealer in the group that doesn't even need to do anything but heal to deal damage is pretty awesome. So I highly recommend an offensive brain on her, but that's just me. Other people will tell you different. Um, but yeah, I think that's a perfect brain on her. 
Now let's go out to the last piece, which is the skeletal lining. I always put this on healers because I feel like your heal is pretty much always on an SP skill. Uh, while full health, SP regeneration increased by 20%. You're going to want to hit that one SP every turn if possible. You're going to want to have as much shielding as possible in the game. Anytime you're just doing your, um, your basic attack, which is just your one, it's kind of a waste of a turn for her in my opinion. This will help kind of reduce that. So that's why I really, really like this on her. But yeah, it's Blinka. Pretty simple, familiar to get. She's just an epic. Let me go ahead and show you where you guys can get her real quick. So you guys can get her from Expedition, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to come to tier 10, I believe. Yes, Broken Abyss is tier 10. And you will be farming about 12 to 14 of her. That way you can make two plus fives. I recommend you always plus five every familiar, no matter what. Um, there's not a scenario where you won't do that or where I won't recommend you doing that. So just always think of it as I need to make six. I need to make six minimum. I personally think seven minimum is always the best because you never know when you'll need a second. Me personally, I make three of each familiar plus five. So I always make eight, but not everyone likes farming familiars like I do. So I highly recommend you guys make two plus five of hers and honestly it's not too bad the only hard part is going to be getting those ja -ja -ja jackpot materials but it's only a hundred and it is a rare material each so you're only going to be looking around 700 of these realistically and let me go ahead and show you real quick if you go to rewards here points you'll see here if you just play just playing even just a little bit you'll get some like if you just get to 400 000 points that's one guaranteed blinko right there that's one um, in my opinion, the most ideal you can do is obviously the 10 million points, but not everyone does that. If you can farm that, that's great. It comes with a lot of goodies. In my opinion, just the mythic material is awesome. But um, I'd say getting the 2.5 mil is the best because you can have two plus all the ones you farm, which will equal to probably a third, maybe even a fourth. If you guys could get all of it within one run, you have the best healer in the game in the palm of your hands, at least for what she does. She's the best shielder, she's a decent healer, and she has decent speed for per turn for per turn brains. She's honestly solid. She's all around solid. Now there's another familiar that can replace her, but that's gonna be another video, guys. If you have any recommendations on builds for Blinka, anything at all, leave them in the comments. If you guys honestly just, I don't know, want to help people out, leave some tips in the comments. You guys can do that as well. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Anything at all, I'm always down to hear you all out. Thanks so much for stopping by. This is World Eater. Have a great one, guys. Peace.